Last week on Low Bricks, we finished the corridor hallways. And now it's time to venture outside of Echo Base into the battlefield. What horrible things do we have in store on this side of the mock? Stay right here to find out and let's go. Hello and welcome to Low Bricks. I am Leaky Trooper and this is our Star Wars Lego Hoth mock. And this week we are moving out of Echo Base into the snow covered battlefield of Hoth where the rebel troopers are fighting the walkers and there's a Wampa cave and all that good stuff. But this week we are focused on this right side of the mock, pretty empty. And for those of you who don't know or don't remember, these bricks represent scenes we're gonna do in the future. We said them a long time ago, but we're gonna do it once again. This is where Luke gets stuffed inside of a tauntaun. And this is where Luke sees Ghost Ben and says, Yoda, take about system, all that good stuff. So, first things first, we gotta build up the mountain on this side of the mock. So we're gonna do that first. Then we have a special surprise. You gotta stick around to the end of the video. So we're not just putting down a minifigure, we're putting a scene down. Just gotta wait to see what it is. So let's get building the little cliff mountain on this side of the mock. So the first thing I have to do is kind of weave the pattern along this side of the mock, both on the outside and the inside. We can't just have this very straight line here, so it has to blend into these part of the snow drifts. So we are going to start by building the outside piece of this where it starts to wind away from this snow drift. Right at this scene, it needs to start winding back towards the snow drift. So we kind of have this little cool edge here. We have to do the same thing on this side so it's not all perfectly symmetrical and we will build up into the snow drift here. So it's almost like a little path. There's going to be this big hill here that we're making today. I'm going to extend this out all the way to the green brick in hyperlapse mode and fill in a little bit of the snow drift. Alright, so here is the groundwork or the plate work along this side of the trench. Now we have to build up the mountainous part. So for that, I'm going to switch over to hyperlapse mode. This part was done with actually assistant's older brother. I guess you'd call him assistant too. And this was his design. So we're going to try to emulate it as we move down the mountain, except it is going to have to be a little bigger. This is about 10 studs high, we're gonna need about 14, but it's gonna build up to that height to hide our scenes from the rest of the mock. So let's get building, back to hyperlapse mode. Let's build some mountainous cliffs. All right, like we did further down the mountain, we're gonna apply a snot technique right here on the, this interior part of the mountain that we are going to build up very similar to here now it's going to be taller but it's going to build straight up from here so let's switch back over to hyperlapse mode build up this wall then we'll build the snot piece after <laughs> All right, and off mock, we are gonna build the snot panel that goes there, and then we have to build one right next to it to hide our scene. Ah. All right, so here is our snot wall that was made in kind of clumsy hyperlapse. So let's stick That guy on there, pretty good. Now we have to add a little detail here to make it fit in. All right. And my good buddy, the cheese piece. And get that one. Cheese piece going that way. like a little cliff. Don't know if we're gonna connect the two, it might just like slope up into this one. 
Let's move to the other side, this side, and build the side where the scene is gonna go. And then we have to expand this way. All right, so as you move along the back side here, this is the other side of the wall, the cliff face starts with this smaller cliff, moves up to the bigger mountain, dips down a bit, and now we're in the back of the snot wall. So what we have to finish today is the back side of this snot wall. It's going to veer back down, make a little cliff, and then finally we're gonna build another big cliff here with a snot wall that our scene is gonna be behind. So let's cut back over to hyperlapse mode and build the back side of the snow cliffs. All right, we got the majority of the mountain done. But we have one more area to do, and it's gonna be the area where our scene is. So this we have to snot up and build up on the other side. But on this side, we're gonna do the snot because we're gonna to have to the scene right here. So let's snot up. There's the snot wall for the cliff that's gonna be hiding our scene. So let's build the front of it off mock. All right, since this snot panel is pre-assembled, I'm actually gonna do snotting right on top of it, cover up all this multicolored stuff. All right, here is our snot brick panel. Looking pretty good, let's put this back on the board. All right, let's get this guy on the board. All right, so right now this kind of looks like a bookshelf. So we have to blend the mountain all the way out to here, up to here to make it look more mountainous and blend in with this section over here. So let's cut over to hyperlapse mode and get to it. So here's the mountain on the right side of the mock. This is kind of all like little icy trash just piled up. Here's from the outside where the uh, folks involved in the battle see it as. Can't really see anything behind it, which is what we want. But I think we are ready for assistant to come in. We're not only gonna add a minifigure today, we're gonna add a scene as well. So let's bring in assistant, see how he likes it. If it looks like crap or if it is mock worthy. All right, guys, so here is to this week's update. I think it's looking really, really good here, and we've got all sorts of cool stuff going on. We are, in fact, going to be adding a scene here, and if you remember correctly, the blue two by four here, two by two, my apologies, Legoers, uh, represented the scene where Han slices open the, the Tauntaun and puts Luke inside. So what we're going to need to do is we're gonna need to take our tauntaun here and somehow adhere Luke into the bottom of it. Now, I know there is a couple Lego purists who watch our videos. So let me tell you, this Lego tauntaun is uh, not gonna be very pure for much longer. So take a good look, because this is the last time he will remain in sellable Lego purity form. But anyway, I'm gonna have, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go get this, get this done. So we've attempted some crazy things before. As you know, uh, what we did to poor Dak uh, and some other things, but this might be our craziest attempt yet. As we said, we wanna get Luke inside this Tauntaun 
and we think the inside of this tauntaun is hollow. So we are going to bore a hole into this tauntaun. Could this go well or horribly wrong? I think it's 50-50, but we're gonna give it a shot. As you can see on the low bricks workbench here, uh, things haven't always gone right on this workbench, so we thought this was a good place to try this. So the soldering iron is nice and heated up, so let's see what happens when this makes contact with the tauntaun. Not really anything. Uh, starting to make a little progress. Yep, we are boring a hole into the tauntaun. This so far so good. I think we are going to find out what is inside a tauntaun. Okay, we made contact with the inside of the tauntaun here. All right, we got a hole, but it's got to be big enough for a minifigure to fit in. So we got to keep keep boring here. Oof, that smell. It smells like plastic mixed with tauntaun juice. I'm, I'm sure this is probably not good for my soldering iron either. So I don't want to, you know, that's, um, that's like $5 at Harbor Freight. I'll never get back again. So that is not big enough. We are really going to have to bore a hole inside of this tauntaun. It's got to kind of be like the alien, um, in the movie Aliens. Like, it's got to be like a chest burster. This tauntaun has to be like completely bored open. And I got to do it without burning myself. That's a, that's a really important thing. Ooh, it's like gum. Might have to clean this thing off. All right. So far, no damage other than to the Lego tauntaun. And I know people get a little upset when we um, mangle Legos, but this is for theatrical effect, right? We want to have Luke inside of this tauntaun. That's a must. And, uh, you know, they cut open a, a tauntaun prop in Empire Strikes Back, so why can't we also, you know, uh, cut open our own tauntaun prop? And one thing I'll say is the, the tauntaun is mostly hollow, on the inside, but it's uh, also pretty narrow. Okay, we're gonna go a little deeper now where the legs are. All right. Oh boy, this is really yucky. Assistant just showed up. So assistant, uh, how's it looking so far? Looks like you're, uh, you're mangling a Lego figurine. Yeah, they go. I, I guess it's our Lego, right? We can mangle it if we want, or yeah, is that, that taboo? It is our Lego. We can do it with what we please. But I gotta. Uh, you think that's big enough for a minifigure to fit inside? I don't... No, I don't think the. I don't think that 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 figure is big enough for a minifigure to fit inside. I. It is gonna happen. I'm gonna make it wide enough. Han Solo really did a number, you know, with the lightsaber and the tauntaun. Uh, I thought they smelled bad. We don't need the whole minifigure. We really just need um, Luke's torso and head to be sticking out of here. Aaron, it's starting to get a little covered with tauntaun guts. Yes. It's just not heating up properly. No, it is not. And that's that seems like a, a soldering iron you found in the streets. Uh, this is a $6 special at Harbor, Stri Harbor uh, Freight. Ah! Or Streets of Detroit. One Streets or the of other. Detroit. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I I, uh, I need to clean off my soldering iron. All right, here is our Luke minifigure. Um, just to be safe, I kept the soldering iron on, you know, just to increase the chances of burning myself. Um, and so, first things first, you know, I gotta take his lightsaber off, and I do have to take his legs off. No way is he gonna fit in there with his legs on, so now, now I gotta widen out this tauntaun a little more. Dagobah system, Dagobah system Yoda. Now I've gotta widen out that tauntaun a bit more. I'm gonna have to go up more into his chest. This is getting really disgusting. I can't believe you let me do this, assistant. I 
th I thought you had more sense than this. Well, it was different when back in the old days of YouTube or YouTube Wolbricks where uh, the Legos were being purchased by us. But now that YouTube is giving us all sorts of money to buy these Legos, I don't really care anymore. Oh, all sorts of money? Well, wait, wait a minute, we're, are you holding out on me? No, it's actually not all sorts of money. <laughs> <laughs> but basically what I'm saying is by you guys watching the videos, we can do goofy, wacky, zany stuff like that. That's right. But we want to be screen accurate. And and in Empire Strikes Back, Luke was inside of a Tauntaun. So we have to have Luke inside of a Tauntaun. I mean, it's, you know, it wouldn't be a Hothmock without that. You got to admit. That's, that is true, I suppose. That is true. I think I'm going to have to widen this hole a little bit. You know, this Tauntaun was just fine when we started this video, and now look at him. It wasn't like he, he was out in the cold, and, you know, he was on Hoth, and the temperatures dropped too rapidly. This Tauntaun didn't freeze before the first marker. We, we literally did this to this Tauntaun. Your Tauntaun will freeze before the first marker, and... Oh, I guess I shouldn't set super hot items on paper. That's probably a bad thing. Well, I will leave you to this. All right. This looks uh, very dangerous. I appreciate that assistance. This looks like an unsanctioned, this is not something Lego would recommend you do with their products. No, this is definitely not something Lego would have you do with their products. All right, so here we are back at our blue brick. And as you know, Leaky has, has done it again. He has made a wonderful creation of low bricks. If the camera could actually get it in focus here. Another wonderful creation done by Lobrix here. As you can see, Luke is coming out of the Tauntaun. Very uh, good. That kind of looks like the Tauntaun's giving birth to Luke. Yeah, well, of course, we're going to be removing this blue brick. Of course, the Tauntaun is going to be laying down. And then well, Han Solo is going to be right here wearing the blue coat, so the correct color. And he's going to be, oh, oh, geez, I thought they smelled bad on the outside it which indicates that they smell even worse on on the inside because he's cut them over so it's a very classic joke if you guys remember correctly so that is the scene leaky if you want to do some adjustments here i'm not exactly sure well I, how it was in the movie i do think we want him facing this way and he already cut it open so i think the lightsaber will be kind of be down and now he's just kind of shoving them inside kind of like candy inside of a pinata yeah a yeah i gotcha you, you ever had a pinata at your birthday parties i can't remember if we gave you a pinata i don't remember yeah but we're yeah he's shoving them in there very good yeah overall a uh, a worthwhile scene and one we've been waiting to put in here eventually we will probably come through here and add in some groundwork along here but that's in the future once we get some more things done along um, the mountain's edge, and there's oh, also a bunch of other I, things. There was another Tauntaun there. I guess they shouldn't have taken him off. off. That's where Luke is actually getting wampified. Like, we're we might we might get rid of this this fellow. We'll yeah. see. But anyway, uh, here is the scene with Han Solo and Luke. And assistant, there is one last break. One yes, last there is break. one last break. And if you remember, episode two of the Hoth series. We explain what each one of these bricks are, and this one is the Ghost Obi Wan Sam. There used to be four. There was the blue one, a red one, and a yellow one. And of course, the red one was the blowing up of the probe droid scene over there. The yellow one was the Wampa Cave, looking good. And then the blue one, of course, which is the one we've added today, long awaited, the classic scene where hand rips open the tauntaun to save Luke's life because his body temperature is fleeting, dropping rapidly. Truly a travesty. But Han steps in to save the day. So anyway guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Obviously these are the minifigures we're adding today. I know we didn't directly say it, but I think that this is a great update to our mock. I know it's not as exciting as something like, I don't know, building the mountains or adding in troops, adding in uh, different assault vehicles like the ATST over there, but it needs to be done. There needs to be some greeble added and landscape and texture, and I think it is finally starting to look pretty good here. So if we take a look from the back of the mock, 
you can see it's starting to look like a snowy landscape regardless of what angle you look at it from. Pretty cool if you don't ask me. Well, if you ask me, if you, yeah, I don't know. I don't make the rules. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you for watching this far into the video. We do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates in the future. If you wanna see behind the scenes action, don't forget to become a member. That's, that's to see the behind the scenes. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out of here.